Okay, so I pulled the cover off and everything looks really good in here. Um, there's just a little bit. I'll probably take this out instead of pressure wash it. Just go ahead and hit it with some brake cleaner or carb cleaner and clean this up. Um, I did notice the throttle on this side is bent. I don't know what may have caused that, uh, but I'm hoping it's not broke. That may be a problem if it is, but I, I'm not sure. Uh, but the reason I, I need that is over on this side, I've unhooked the brake assembly. And this is the kill switch. This is where the kill wire goes. I need to move this to that little square hole down there. So, so this will shut it off. So I think I'm going to have to bend that up. So when you go full choke, it'll shut it off. Yeah, a little bit of cleanup. I'm not going to go any further with it. It looks good. I do know it did run. Uh, so on this side, I'm, I'm probably just going to leave this brake assembly. I'm going to remove the cable, though. The reason I'm going to leave it is I want to be able to put this cover back on it so there's not a gaping hole there. Um, technically, yeah. Yeah, I need that. I need that... Uh, that threaded hole right there to put that cover back on so I'll, I'm just going to remove this spring and this cable here and uh, just leave the brake off of it and then relocate the kill switch to the other side and I went out in my other shed and I did find the uh, the throttle for it so yeah everything uh, hopefully it's just got enough horsepower to spin that uh, spindle I did tighten this up I don't know how long it's going to last but uh, yeah we'll see so anyhow uh let me uh continue on with this thing go finish the cleanup on it and then uh start putting it back together yeah the wind's still horrendous today i'm going to do a second pressure wash because uh, yeah i used a whole can of brake clean and uh it just didn't do what i wanted it to do got the plug on the carburetor so everything's plugged up but yeah I'm going to pressure wash it again I got a couple of stupid little birds they've uh, they've actually built a nest in here I had to remove it but I had to stick me some uh, foam up under there so yeah they had a nest going right there so I had to block that off dug most of it out yeah that's what that was under my hood so, yeah they're probably mad at me now well second pressure wash got it real good and clean uh, I'm really having a hard time getting this switch I mean it fits in there but it's real loose and when I hook my multimeter to it, it's real hit and miss. Um, I even cleaned it up. So, yeah. What I may end up doing is like I did on uh, my Heinz 57 and just run a separate kill button from here up. So, uh, that should work. Uh, so... We are pretty much at a stopping point because I got a race coming on that I want to watch and I do have the barbecue in a little while. Uh, yeah, uh, I think for right now I'm just going to run a separate kill switch. So I got to go dig in my parts box, see what I got for a switch I can put on there. And uh, I had to uh, had to suck about another little bit of gas out of there because I tried dumping it out, and for some reason, even if you turn this upside down, you can't get all the gas out of it. So I'm leaving that open, let whatever's in there evaporate. I did unbend this part, so that's all working now. And uh, like I said, I'll just. I just work a, a different kill switch on it, but uh, yeah, I'm at a stopping point. Um, I'll get it back together tomorrow. <laughs>